Kind of after some two strand twists, but I did those because I pre pooped my hair last night. I like to do that before I actually shampoo my hair on wash day. So this is the results of that. The process currently at my best friend's house, and she is like, must do me some little baby hairs, or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, and why well, like I got a scratch? I don't know. But anyway, yeah, I just decided to check in. I haven't vlog anything at all this week but um yep stay tuned for the finished look okay i am back home now and i'm in my room i just got home it's like around close to 10 o'clock um so i am super tired but it's the finished product of my hair let me smooth this down because the head rest in the car just kind of pushed my hair a little bit but Hopefully these curls will maintain themselves for <laughs> tomorrow and the weekend. I've just been rocking like my own natural hair and twisting stuff and like for for like the past what two months or no the past month and a half I think so. Yeah, it was time for me to go back to my protective style, go back to my unit sewing, you know, whatever you want to call it, but Yep, um, this is some hair that I've had for a while. This was a unit. Um, the only thing I did was I replaced it and put like a new like closure on the top of it, but this is all um used hair, so yep, that's just that. But I'm going to stop here so I can get me some rest because I'm sleepy and tired and I have to be up early in the morning. So I'm about heading to grab something to eat. I'm at Popeyes. I'm wondering like do they have a chicken sandwich in here, even though the hype has died all the way down, but I may get there or something else. I'm looking a little bright today. I'm just sitting here waiting on my order. Don't look at me. My phone right here. Don't you have another t-shirt like that? No, that's what I'm still Look at you. The three chain arrangement. Two chains. Yeah, you do chains. With a nose ring. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, sure. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, he say Tupac with a nose ring. Yeah. Yeah. I only got my sandwich after way too long of waiting, but. I mean, I may try it, I don't know, on camera. I've tried it before, like, way back before it got, like, this big hype craze. And I know it's a good sandwich, so. Yep, getting ready to. Currently in Kroger doing my usual Sunday shopping, and I am getting these salads because I just ordered a pizza, so I said, if I'm gonna use today as, like, my super, super cheat day, because I ordered a three topping um, pizza head, this large three topping deal. So I'm gonna eat that today. <laughs> then I may as well, this light is in my face. I may as well eat clean during the week. So I got these salads that's gonna be my lunch for three days and the rest of it I'm gonna meal prep. I'm back home and I feel fall coming. <laughs> I know everybody's being like these cold fronts and we're supposed to get ours like tonight into um, tomorrow. So it's, it's obviously supposed to rain, which I'm not happy about. You probably hear the thunder just a tiny bit but yeah so I'm super happy I actually have a dress on today which I was like like you know what why not get this dress in hopefully it's it'll be my last time being able to get like a spring dress in but um yeah y'all know I'd be so happy when it gets cold because I am a winter baby at heart and I hate the heat I do not like the summer at all well, I haven't vlogged all weekend, like literally all weekend. And I actually did some fun stuff this weekend, starting with Friday, and today is now Sunday. But, oh well, I didn't film it, so yeah. But I'm getting ready to head to church right now. Um, I think the last clip <laughs> that I'm going to post before this was when I just got my hair done. Or, no, I think I was out somewhere last Saturday. But, um, yeah, I've straightened my hair this week. I had it kind of curled and stuff, so... I need to go back in and touch it up because you know how when it kind of like bumps a little bit see I don't mind like super bone straight but um, I'm about to go touch it up real quick and then I'm head out to church which um if you know me then my church is literally like 
literally right there so it's gonna be super quick and i'm actually gonna be on time this sunday normally i'm always late but fashionably late but yep i will be on time this sunday but i hope everyone is enjoying their day even though by the time yeah, but by the time you all see this maybe at night time or whatever but um i will probably leave you out with a scripture or something after i leave church i'll tell you what um what we talked about what the sermon was about things like that Hopefully I have time to do that because I need to go and make a couple runs after I get out of church with um, my brother. So we shall see how that goes. But yep, let me go in the house and touch up my hair real quick and get on the move. my room and I got my notes over here to the side. So this comes up. Okay, so first off, the sermon came from, look, I didn't, I didn't write that down. Luke chapter 13 and verses six through nine if i'm not mistaken i'll put it um i notated down below if that's not where it came from but um he started out um well because we have like the little screens in my church the um tv screens so across the screens it had a change arrow and it had a chance arrow and um the basis of the sermon was about choices challenges and changes and some of the key points and this is like really super short some of the key points were sometimes God will take our mishaps and give us a miracle. God is keeping me and God has given all of us another chance. So from there, I took that, you know, that although we sometimes make bad choices in life because no one is free from sin. No one is free from, you know, doing something where they fall short of God's grace. But you have to remember that you can be forgiven but you must also be a servant unto the Lord. You must also pray and repent for your sins. And also, you don't keep repeating those same mistakes. Whatever you believe in and also just in life, like in general, you definitely do not want to always be the person having to apologize for the, your behavior. Like, I'm sorry, I, it won't happen again. I didn't mean to do that type of thing. Then it just becomes a pattern. Because if someone is constantly doing it to me, the first thing I'm going to think is that they're just apologizing to me to make them own, their own self feel better. Or I'm going to think that they really are not changing or they're not become, trying to become a better person if they're going to continue making those same mistakes. You know, I try hard not to be a judgmental type person. I really don't judge people at all. But, you know, everyone has a little bit in them where you may side eye something and think to yourself, now, I don't even understand why this person did something like that. Or I just can't, you may can't wrap your head around why someone made a certain choice. But, you know, forgiveness is key in life. And I honestly feel like I'm one of those people that I forgive people just based off of it'll make myself feel better. Whether or not I feel like I have to still communicate with that person, regardless of that, sooner or later, I need to forgive that person because then... Whatever that person did or if I feel like they wronged me, I'm now taking on anger and I'm carrying that weight around, you know. So um, that's just my, like my little takeaway lesson. I don't really come on here on Sundays or talk or anything, but if you really want to get like a lot of good scriptures and a lot of good messages and a lot of walking in Christ and just videos like that, I'm going to put her name right here or right here somewhere on the screen my girl Naj, Naja J it's her YouTube and she does great videos like that of walking in Christ um saved and single I can't remember her exact tag tagline but basically videos like that and I really enjoy them I feel like you know they are a good come to moment and I just you know I take in a lot of good things that she does say so Shout out to her, and um, I know she'll be watching it because she supports me, and I support her videos, and she's just an overall supportive person. Happy Saturday, everyone. I'm finally wearing my Lauren Hill tee. If you watch my graphic tee video, which if you haven't, you should have, but um, yeah, I'm wearing that t-shirt today because it is so hot here. Like, y'all hear me complain about the weather and the temperature so much because it's literally a issue that I always have to go through. Okay, this is better lighting. I was on the other side of my house but um even though it's washing out my tea
I will. But um, yeah, I'm always having to complain about the weather because it's always so hot here. Like it is definitely officially fall. It's actually almost November. I think this is is this the last week of October or no? This is the next to the last week of October, and it has to be at least sixty. No, not even sixty degrees. It has to be like seventy degrees. It's wasp outside and stuff. Like I just cannot take this weather. But anyway, I'm getting ready to head out. I just have a couple things to do today. Nothing too serious. I'm really going to be in chill mode and come back home as soon as I can to catch up on some different series and stuff. And um, also some work-related things because I'm going to be taking off a day next week. So I need to kind of get a jump start on that because next week is my homecoming week. So if I don't get this vlog up before then, then I will include some footage from my class 2011 homecoming that um, my class is going to be doing. <sighs> These little bugs bothering me. But um, yeah, I check in later. Happy Sunday, everyone. Getting ready to head into my family's dinner. And this is kind of like my outfit of the day. Can't really see it, but yeah. I have like my little clips here. Thought it was cute. Giving me a little, kind of a little Barbie vibe off. Ready to head to the family dinner, so. Yeah. Let me shoot. I just don't know what it is, but I just cannot be on time for anything. My food. I have plenty of food to go. My normal Sunday duties and coming to grab groceries I really am thinking about just doing a delivery option because this takes our time of my day and I spend way more money by going in store <laughs> I honestly feel like if I did not go in store that I probably would save more money because I'll be able to really plan things out I wouldn't see little things I'm like oh, I need to get that you know so yeah Okay, if you're like into shoes and stuff, then you know these Travis Scott cereals that everybody was like super hype over. They were paying like $15, $20 and more for these boxes. Well, let me show you. We finally got them down here. Regular $3, they're on sale. And $1.79 if you buy five items. <laughs> but I'm just going to get one just for the fun of it. But I'm actually going to eat my cereal because I actually really like the Reese's Puffs. So. Well, it is such a rainy day today. I'm checking back into the vlog just to say that I am getting ready to head to my... Oh, how many years have I been out of high school? 2019 minus 11. Um, 9 minus 1 is 8. <laughs> so I've been out of school 8 years, but um, we always tailgate with my class. We have been doing it for the past 2 years. So this is our sweatshirt for this year. It says, I bleed blue and gold. Our colors were blue, white, and gold. And it says, Core to High School class 2011 cougar nation has little paw prints and on the back of mine it says the valedictorian because i was my class valedictorian and <clears throat> excuse me and this year we decided to get names to different things like that on um, the back of our sweatshirts even though my hair is going to cover it obviously i went on my best friend to get out of work so um we can go ahead and head down that way because we're about like probably 45 minutes away from where the um tailgate and the game is at Okay, and now I'm about to close the vlogs out. It is currently Sunday. This vlog probably has been all over the place because it started out back a couple weeks ago when I first got my hair done. So I hope that you all enjoy watching this and I'll see you in my next one.